Hey guys, what's going on? Derek here with McLaren Atlanta. I'm also bringing you guys David here because you're the McLaren technician on site. And today we're going to talk to you guys about some of the items that are on the McLaren P1. Join me over here and take a look and see what we got. Alrighty guys, so this very first unit here is going to be the HDA. The HDA is the hybrid drive assembly unit also known as the gateway between both combustion engine and EV motor. This particular unit, as you can see here, has a couple of different items. The very first one is the sprocket that's over here, which is actually actuating for the AC compressor. But the main two items for the hybrid drive are actually going to be out of this port here, where the EV motor mounts up, and also where the clutch drive assembly is actually going to be mounted. Now this right here is a dry clutch. The dry clutch is actually being actuated by this actuator here that allows the gas motor to link to the HDA and the rest of the drive assembly. That is all done through these two ports at the top here of the HDA and allows this throttle bearing to then link both dry clutch to the rest of the drive line. Over here on this side is the E-motor. The E-motor is then, what I showed in the very beginning, is how this is actually going to link to the rest of the drive assembly. This vehicle is actually able to run solely off of the e-motor, as well as both the combustion engine and e-motor alone. Let's take a look at how the HDA mounts the transmission and the rest of the drive. So we're getting here, you're able to see the throw bearing, your inlet for the e-motor, and for the AC compressor. Basically on this side, you're gonna have the combustion engine. And again, as simple as that. Thank you guys for joining me today. Have a good one. Take care. Please like, share, any comments, post them below. You guys have a good day. Thanks.